And this is really simple right here. Certainly with Giannis, this is a cross screen. Tyrese Halliburton has, has got to jam Giannis as he comes through this cross screen so Buddy Heald can get on the other side. I mean, come on with this. What do you do? Tyrese Halliburton doesn't touch him. So now Giannis has got Buddy Heald sealed down low. He's got to front the post without backside help. Catch, turn, couple of dribbles, too. In transition here, Buddy Heald sprinting back. Why is he not communicating that he's taking the ball right here so Tyrese Halliburton go to Giannis? Why does Buddy Heald think he can go from half court all the way to Giannis here? What is this transition defense? Oh, can't do it. Not even close. This is why the Pacers' defense is absolutely terrible. you got to get up and hedge this screen. Okay, I need backside help. I can't just let this pass to Giannis get made. I'm pushing Damian Lillard out. You're running drop coverage. Look at this. So you're letting Giannis catch this ball on the run in the paint. Oh, by the way, Malik Beasley's also wide open. That's atrocious defense. That's Rick Carlisle being awful. There's a lot of things the Pacers can do on this pick and pop. You could easily switch this. Miles Turner can take Giannis. Aaron Nesmith goes on to Bobby Portis, and you just force Giannis to the middle of the floor where you have help. You can also hedge this, right, because you push Giannis out right here, and now we have backside help for Bobby Portis on the pick and pop, and then you, if a skip pass gets made, you're just Xing out. Buddy Heald goes to the corner, and then Benedict Matherin comes back down onto Andre Jackson Jr. If you run drop coverage on a pick and pop, you're giving up a practice shot. So this is just Bobby Portis in the gym before the game warming up. If you are Aaron Nesmith in transition, you have got to be underneath Giannis, getting low, battling. Look at this. What is Aaron Nesmith? Look at, get underneath. Battle for, like, this is, that is just. Bad defense from Benedict Matherin. First of all, he's going to be caught ball watching. Let's see the ball and our man at all times. Benedict Matherin's staring at the ball right now. Okay, so right now, though, so Chris Middleton's about to lift to the wing right here. Okay, if you're Benedict Matherin, just st look at this angle he takes. Just stay with Chris Middleton. You'll be able to get back in time. Why is Benedict Matherin going above the three-point line? Look at that angle. So now Chris Middleton catches this. You're not even close to ready to guard. He can actually still drop this pass, and you're not ready to guard. The Pacers just let Giannis drop 64 points on him. You're switching the screen. Buddy Heald has got to get underneath the screener. Obviously. Miles Turner switching up on the... What is Buddy Heald doing? There's got to be a defender in that gap right there. I mean, you switch over the top. I, like, the Pacers just let Giannis score 64 points here. If you're Tyrese Halliburton, I got to sprint back to the three-point line in transition, okay? This is jogging. Your back is to the... Look at... Stop! Giannis is catching this ball with a full head of steam. I should be underneath the three-point line with my back to the baseline, in the gaps. Look at Halliburton. You're just seeing the ball now. And Miles, Miles Turner should be playing up. You don't give Giannis a runway to get downhill. And Halliburton's got to be in that gap. Buddy Heald is there right now. I mean, you just letting them score. Just. <laughs> if you are Bruce Brown and you are battling for position with Giannis anywhere on the floor, I've got to get low. Okay, if I am standing straight up, he is going to overpower me. If the low man's going to win here, if I'm low and battling, I'm going to keep him out of the paint. But I mean, Bruce Brown is just sta look at, standing straight up. You have no chance. No chance. None. Aaron Nesmith's off balance here and is letting Bobby Portis get to the block. I mean, is TJ McConnell really just going to stand and watch this? Can we please get a... Like, TJ McConnell, just go double right now. Get the dribble picked up. Okay, Tyrese Halliburton's going to immediately rotate over. There's not going to be a catch and shoot three. As soon as McConnell gets down there and that dribble gets picked up, everybody else rotates from there. You're good. We're just going to watch this. Like, that's what we're doing. Really. It's the same thing. Aaron Nesmith. I've got to be underneath Giannis in the paint. Like, what? I, you're three-quartersing him. You have no backside help. How am I not underneath battling for position? So now he's going to catch this. You're all, Look at this. You're out of position. Good night. TJ McConnell should be coming up here to ice this screen right here. That's not what's happening, all right? Miles Turner's not coming over to ice this screen. What's happening is TJ McConnell's leaning towards the screen early, all right? When Damian Lillard comes off the screen, you'll defend the screen. Hopefully, you would switch it if you're not icing it. But you lean towards the screen early, Damian Lillard's never going to come off the screen. He's just going to blow by you the other way. This is just awful right here, all right? Aaron Nesmith's clearly trying to ice this screen. Miles Turner's got to get up. Okay, because we've got to keep Cameron Payne towards the sideline right here. Now, Benedict Matherin would have to get up and backside help on Bobby Portis's pick and pop right here. Okay, but we again, Miles Turner's got to be getting up now, keeping Cameron Payne towards the sideline. TJ McConnell will then have to rotate on to Marion Bochamp right here. Okay, 
But I mean, Miles Turner isn't even close to being up enough. Not even close. And what is Benedict Matherin doing? Are you in backside help? Are you not? Like, what is TJ McConnell? Do? O Obi Toppin does a great job getting in the gaps on Giannis right here. So why is McConnell in the... Obi Toppin's in help. McConnell needs to get out to Cameron Payne. Look at this. Obi Toppin does a great job here. Why is McConnell in the paint? Get out. So, what? This is Rick Carlisle being terrible again. This ball screen is set beneath the three-point line, okay? I don't have space to run your dumb drop coverage, all right? Aaron Nesmith can easily switch the screen and Obi Toppin and go on to Giannis. McConnell's going to get over here and help, all right? But get Aaron Nesmith up. Why are, look, look at how you're asking Obi Toppin to guard Chris Middleton. Look at that. How, from over the, he's in the lane. You're at a disadvantage. It's just awful. It's just putting players in a bad position. Benedict Matherin here. Wait. When Malik Beasley goes to set the screen, you can switch, which is apparently what you were trying to do. But Malik Beasley isn't even close to setting a screen here. And you just switched. All right? I mean, TJ McConnell and Obi Toppin are right here in the gaps right here on Giannis. All right? You switch nothing. So now you're going to be late getting out to Malik Beasley right here. All right, now Isaiah Jackson's clearly got to stay in the gaps right here. I got to have my left foot parallel to the block. If I'm in a defensive stance, my feet are set. I can stunt. I can recover. That's not going to happen either. The Pacers just hand 64 points to Giannis in this game. What is Jordan Nora doing? This ball gets swung to Giannis. I have got to immediately sprint down and get in the gaps at the three-point line. Oscar Tashibwe is coming over and help already. But, I mean, you are going... Look at this. And Bruce Brown's got to get up. But where is Jordan Nora? Like, you just... There's no help. And Bruce Brown's playing off. Just hand him. Hand him the record. Pacers defense. I mean, you're just handing Giannis 64 points. If you're switching the screen, Jarace Walker must get underneath the screener so he's in the gaps if Oscar Tashibwe is switching on to Giannis. And where's Nora? I got to be underneath the three-point with my back to the baseline so I'm in the gaps. This is just... Look at this. Jarace Walker's nowhere. Jordan Nora isn't even seeing the ball with his back to the baseline. And that couldn't have been easier.